Now we go to Middlesbrough. Simon Clark. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And may I commend my honourable friend for the outstanding job she's doing in encouraging the whole population to take the vaccine when they're offered it, because that's so important. In an article on Labour List on the 19th of February that reflected on COVID-19, Labour's Shadow Minister for Equality has claimed that government ministers continue to dismiss and deny the realities of racism, and went on to state that structural racism was the cause of those disparities. What is the government's view on this question? Uh, I thank my honourable friend for this question and, and also for the opportunity for me to reiterate what I said to the um, honourable lady in the question earlier. Of course racism exists. No one in this government has ever denied the existence of racism. In fact, I've spoken about my own personal experience, as did the Home Secretary at this very dispatch box, to which 30 Labour MPs, including the member for Battersea, dismissed her experiences as gaslighting. However, what we will not do is assume that every issue experienced by ethnic minorities is caused by racism without looking at the evidence. We develop solutions based on where the evidence leads, unlike Labour, whose report in October recommended that we decolonise the curriculum to address COVID-19. There is a legitimate debate to be had on how we tackle racism and how we address ethnic disparities. But just because our means for achieving these goals may differ, it should in no way undermine our shared commitment to building a fairer and more cohesive society. So let me be clear to those who have either misunderstood what this government has said or deliberately choose to misrepresent what this government has said. This government condemns racism and evil, which has no place in a civilised society.